Hello! In this video, we're going to look at using a Criscoll Wallace test uh, to do a Criscoll Wallace test using SPSS. We're going to use the data set in, uh, from Chapter 9 on nitrogen levels in reed beds. And we're going to use uh, the instructions for this are on, our, on the help sheet. We're not, following, we're not going to use the legacy dialogues in this video. That's a separate video. We're going to use the alternative route in the new versions of SPSS. Just for a moment, let's explore what's on this data file, which you can either make yourself, and there's help for that using the um, on a separate help sheet, the appendix from the book, and um, the on uh, a, video, a separate video, or you can download the pre-prepared file from the online resource centre. Here we are in data view, and we've got variable labels switched on. And if you wanted to see the codes underlying those for labels, you could just switch value labels off. Quick check of variable view. It's all set up here. We've got the assigned roles as none. You could, in fact, assign those roles, but um, for, for getting this, uh, it's actually for teaching purposes, I think, useful to have those switched off. And um, if you want to know more about variable view, what's in variable view, then you see the, again, see the help sheet on entering data uh, accompanying video or appendix of the book. OK, let's crack on with the analysis. Go to Analyze, uh, Non-Parametric, and we've got independent samples here. Uh, when it comes up for you, it'll look like this. And what you want to do is uh, select the Ant Custom Analyze box. Under Fields, you want to select um, Site under Groups and Nitrogen Content under Test Fields. And if you'd set the roles up in the uh, variable view, then it would actually have done this bit for you. But I like to I like to make sure you know how to do it yourself. Hence, I set the roles to none. Okay, settings. Let's make sure Crystal Wallace is uh, selected, and then we can run the test. Here we click on our test hypothesis um, test summary, and we get more detail over here. We get the test statistic, the three degrees of freedom, the p-value. Um, and the overall sample size. Uh, so this is in, uh, it's brought up the model view. So there we've got all the information for reporting our Criscoll Wallace test. And that's it, done.